always knew from Go that at some point we would be merged or acquired because that's just in the insurance industry, that's what happens. Most people don't recognize immediately the name Family Heritage, but everyone knows Aflac the Duck. We're the number two company in that market. And so we knew from the outset there would come a point where we would want, uh, somebody would really want us or we would really want to be a part of something much more significant. And um, uh, in the uh, probably 2011 or so, uh, it began to be apparent that maybe this was the time to look at uh, uh, at the market conditions and see if there were buyers for this kind of a business. Now, at our size, uh, there you know it was there needed to be a strategic buyer, uh, and we needed to see how we would fit in to that business that was going to acquire us, um, and all those things successfully happened. Well, it starts with finding the, the right national consultant. And so we interviewed lots and lots of national organizations. And with anything, there were, there were things about organizations that we liked, there were things we didn't like. But we settled on a large international firm from New York City, uh, very competent, very professional, and thoroughly, thoroughly involved in the insurance industry at all levels. Um, and they led us through uh, uh, a very, very successful um, acquisition. Take this word to heart, tax. Make certain that your, um, the proceeds of your sale, of the, the sale of your business, um, are going to be uh, maintained and preserved by smart tax planning. Uh, all of that should be in place about how the, the about how the capital is going to pass through, about how the stock shares are going to pass through. Um, the, the taxes are a, a major, major hit. And unfortunately, there are people who pay excessive tax. Uh, you, you, taxes are a reality, but you want to minimize the tax that you have to pay. And with smart advisors and consultants, they can lead you to, through what is a very difficult process and, and uh, make, make it the transaction optimally effective for you and your heirs and, and your family on a go-forward basis. We had excellent guidance. Um, I have been involved with some other people and uh, it's clear that not everybody thinks about that and uh, it's clear that uh, consultants working with people don't always think to add, I think they presume that you have got the, the, the tax side of this in place and in order, trust set up for heirs and, and what you're going to do with the proceeds because um, once, the, once the sale is consummated, then you, you face the reality of the taxes on the, on the transaction. Be sure that, you're, um, be sure that the, the desire of the seller is acceptable to the new ownership because their attitude may be um, we're, we're, we want to go with our own management they may decide that they want to appoint somebody within the company. So your goal or objective as a seller may be that you want to remain and continue. However, if that's not consistent with what the new ownership wants, then, then you've got a breach or you've got a, a problem. So that all has to be uh, worked through and understood uh, during the process of the negotiating process of the transaction. This is a golden time if you are a founder or an owner because now, you have a lot of options about your continuing uh, involvement and responsibility with the business. But to a greater extent, you now have the financial wherewithal and you have the time to be able to work on the charities and within the community the things that you want to do. I have the privilege to serve on seven boards. I have the privilege to raise capital for both my undergraduate uh, school, University of Kentucky, and my graduate school. I have an MBA from Xavier in Cincinnati and to work on things in our community like the Centennial Campaign at the Cleveland Clinic. Um, you know, you see, my, you see my food bank. I'm, I'm on the board of, the, of, the, of our Cleveland Food Bank, the Harvest for Hunger Campaign. There's so many worthy things in our community uh, that, that just uh, really impact the lives of people. You have an opportunity to be a part of that. And so in terms of your own personal legacy of being able to give, you now have the financial resources to do that. And, but you also now have the time and you've got the skill set 
in the background to be able to contribute to the leadership of, of local organizations that are involved in, in services to the community.